Welcome to Know Your Mobile, I'm Basil, this is a Nokia Lumia 620, this is a Nokia Lumia 820 and we're here to compare both of these fantastic Windows phone devices for you. We've reviewed both of them, they both got 4 out of 5 and that's really respectable. Uh, but we're here to tell you which one is probably the right one for you depending on what you are looking for. Kicking off with the design of both and the Lumia 620 and 820 are real Windows phone highlights. Both of them share a similar design in terms of their bulbous elegance and they also have really nice solid feels in the hand. The Nokia Lumia 620 however is smaller, at least it is in terms of fascia size. Thanks to the 3.8 inch display as opposed to the 4.3 inch display on the 820, the Lumia 620 packs a more compact fascia. It is, however, a little bit thicker. Um, this is largely uh, complementary because it's got a really nice bulbous feel in the hand. The corners are really soft and elegant and it's almost cup-like. The Nokia Lumia 820, despite being a little bit thinner, actually digs into the hand more and doesn't feel quite so elegant despite being a more premium device overall. The Lumia 820 as well also feels very heavy, whereas the Lumia 620 just is a little bit more comfortable in the hand. As far as the screens go, they're both WVGA resolution. The Lumia 620 packs a uh, LCD display, so that's a different screen technology to the OLED, um, AMOLED, sorry, in the Lumia 820. That means that the Lumia 820 will have much, much clearer blacks. It'll also have punchier colors, and you may well be able to make that out, given the fact we've got the same theme on both, and the yellows just look more subdued on the 620. In the same breath though, the Lumia 620 with its LCD screen technology will probably have purer whites and with its higher pixels per inch, i.e. sharpness, it's going to have better clarity. So it might be a little bit more enjoyable to read text and he um, text heavy websites on. As far as the cameras go, you've got an 8 megapixel Carl Zeiss camera with an f2.2 lens, uh, I believe, on the Nokia Lumia 820. On the Lumia 620, it's just a bog standard 5 megapixel camera. The 820 camera is noticeably better. We can jump into the camera UI for you very, very quickly. Close that. And we can take a picture of the Lumia 620. It'll flash. We can actually turn off the flash right there. And we can see we have a perfectly respectable picture here. The Lumia 820's um, camera doesn't have all that much you can tweak with it out of the box, but Nokia have got a bunch of lenses that you can install which lets you swap out faces and do a whole range of uh, things to your pictures. Um, and that's available on both these devices. So, and that compensates by and large for Windows Phone 8's limited camera UI. If we had to take the similar picture on the Nokia Lumia 620, for example, we can see you've got a considerably less discernible detailing. Um, however, if it takes the kind of picture we expect it to take, you still have a perfectly, perfectly respectable picture. And that's because both these devices have pretty decent optics and really, really good all together, um, all round, sorry, cameras for their price points. The Lumia 820 costs between 300 and 400 pounds, the Lumia 620 between 100 and 200 pounds. What you get, in, what the difference uh, goes towards is a processor bump. The Lumia 620 has a much faster processor. That's a dual core 1.5 gigahertz Qualcomm Snapdragon S4 in contrast to the one gigahertz dual core Snapdragon S4 in the uh, Nokia Lumia 620. Anyone who's really into their gaming or memory intensive stuff will therefore probably really appreciate the additional memory inside the Lumia, sorry, the additional um, power under the Lumia 820's hood. If you want to throw your HD videos on there and watch them without any encoding, for example, um, or are anticipating Windows Phone getting some striking games, um, then the 820 will be the one for you. However, with the current range of games available for the Nokia Lumias, uh, we would say that the 620 is pretty capable of playing everything out there, at least everything we tested in the market. As far as web browsing goes, the Lumia 820 is also a lot faster. The SunSpider scores gave it about 700 milliseconds faster uh, than the Nokia Lumia 620. That said, the experience of web browsing with the LCD screen proved nice and sharp and certainly snappy enough for most users. 
As far as additional software goes, the Nokias both pack Nokia's uh, software suite, and that includes Nokia Maps, Nokia Drive, and Nokia Mixed Radio. This means you get offline map caching, offline sat navigation, um, and offline music for free. So with these comparable services, and the main differences being in the hardware, it's really anyone's guess as to which one's gonna be the best one for you. In fact, you're the only one who'll really know. It largely depends on how much money you wanna shell out and what you expect from your phone. All in all though, we'd probably say the Nokia Lumia 620 represents better value for money because probably represents better value for money than almost every handset out there at the moment. 150 quid for this little baby, why not? So that's been our quick comparison between the Nokia Lumia 820 and 620. The 820, undeniably a better handset. However, the Nokia Lumia 620 is striking in terms of the value for money that it represents. Thanks for watching, know your mobile. If you have any questions about either device, have any comments or like this video, feel free to subscribe and comment below. Thanks for watching.